Hi everyone, so today I really want to make this video because I want to give you guys an update to my little boo-boo finger. And I know it's been a while since I last updated you guys. And I just wanted to let you all know how the finger is doing because I've had a lot of questions. And, um, well, here's my finger. And as you can see, it's growing out. It's still not 100% healed, you guys. And it is so difficult to deal with because... This bottom part here, as you can see, is really, truly, it just looks like it, it's really just sick and damaged. And if I try to pull up, like literally the nail lifts off the nail bed. So that part right there still has to grow out. This is why I haven't put any tips or anything on this nail. And I also had um, other small little flare ups and I'm not really sure if it's due to the the bottom part here because it's still not quite grown out and healed so the swelling has gone down a little bit um, I did put a little bit of tea tree oil maybe I shouldn't have because I think it kind of just irritated it a little bit as you can see like the little bubbles here tea tree oil is very strong and even if I dilute it for me it's super super strong still but as you can see it's growing out rather nicely these lines here that you guys see are from the cutting board that I <laughs> told you guys I hit I slammed down by mistake on my hand and that just made the finger worse so yeah hopefully this will grow out but I do want to show you guys some of the things that really helped um, during this healing process because it's been really really tough for me I think this has got to be like one of the worst infections I've ever had I did have to take antibiotics just to make sure that there's no no trace of um, infection anywhere and even with that it's still I mean not a hundred percent the swelling has not gone down a hundred percent and I'm just always worried about um, getting more infections down under the lateral folds here on the nail I've been using this product here you can find this at Walmart and this has the it's an, a triple antibiotic with vitamin E enriched and this has really really helped I mean as soon as I put this on around the cuticle and nail area it really does feel great it feels like it's soothing and healing so this has helped quite a lot and as you can see I've used quite a bit of it I mean this is not cheap either it's about $11 or something um, might be cheaper if you live in America but just so you guys know, probably a uh, Neosporin would work just as well. But this one has all this stuff in it, the back tracing, the zinc, and the vitamin E enriched stuff in it. So that really helped. Um, one of the other things that I really found it helped was the hydrogen peroxide. And what I love about this is, okay, if you have any hydrogen peroxide and you have a scrape or a cut, if you spray it on, you will see it bubble up and you will know that it's attacking the bacteria. And I've been using this. So this has really, really helped you guys. It doesn't burn or anything, but I know if there's any bacteria present, like I'll show you now, I don't know, there might still be some. I just washed my hands and dried them up. But if there were some bacteria, you would see this stuff bubble. And as you can see, it's bubbling up just a little bit right there. So if there's any bacteria present, it will go and irrigate and instantly pull out the bacteria. So as you can see, there's a little bit, see, bubbling up. And the more you leave this on, as you can see, it's starting to get all white here. So yeah, I've been putting this on. Um, once a day just to keep it clean and I wash my hands with nice warm um, soap and water and that's been helping a lot so I just went ahead and washed my hand one more time and I put a little bit of the Equate antibiotic ointment on here just to help it stabilize and heal so this is like I said it's really really helped but I haven't kept it covered because I think that for me covering it up it actually made it worse because it would heal one side of the finger and then the other one would start hurting the next day so if I let it breathe during the night with a little bit of this cream on even though it does wipe off while I sleep it's still much better the next day so I've been trying to figure out what 
was the cause of this infection because like I said both of the times that I did get this cuticle perinicule infection whatever it was um, I did not have any gels on no acrylics no um, fiberglass no nothing I was just with my bare natural nails and I was sitting there trying to think what could have been the cause and I remember that the first time that I got the infection I was using this nail polish remover now I don't know if any of you have had problems like me but I'm bringing it up to you guys to see if anybody else has had a problem with this um, onyx professional 100% acetone remover and the reason I say that is because I was looking at the ingredients um, a little while back and I noticed that it has acetone but then the next ingredient is the uh, denatonium benzoate see right there so I am not really sure if this second ingredient is the one that caused the infection or rather the irritation and contact dermatitis or whatever it, it caused um, or if it was something else because I have another nail polish remover and this one is the cool nail polish remover now this is also 100% acetone and the only ingredient in this is acetone right so it doesn't have that second uh, ingredient that the onyx nail polish remover has so I really just stopped using this and I'm thinking that this could have been the cause of my infection because I was using this at the time when I got the first infection in that same finger um, and I mean you guys know I was wearing um, acrylics and stuff like that back in December and I used acetone to remove um, the acrylics and this was in Europe and it, it didn't harm my nails my cuticles were just fine and as soon as I started using this of course that's when the itchiness and the puffiness and then of course followed by the infection that's when it started so if any of you have had this uh, problem with that same nail polish remover I suggest that you guys stop using that and switch to a different nail polish remover like the cool this is a pretty good one so but I wanted to update you guys and just show you um, what the little finger looks like and hopefully it'll get better soon I mean this is going on for uh, let's see since late January beginning of February so that's about six months you guys and as you can see it's still not quite a hundred percent grown out um, down here so there's still potential of getting infection because the bacteria that's underneath the nail here which I cannot get to all I can do is just keep trimming the the uh, damaged nail down until it's fully grown out but the bacteria from under here could seep around the cuticle here and irritate it and it doesn't help that I am in water all day you guys it's not making things easier and wearing gloves doesn't really help because the moisture and stuff from the gloves could actually cause it to get irritated more so and get bacteria trapped trapped under the cuticle and side walls so yeah the gels nor the acrylics have ever given me this kind of a problem but I know that as soon as I used this piece of garbage onyx professional acetone with the detonium um, benzoate this is when I noticed so I put the two and two together and I figured hmm I think it was this so yeah let me know if any of you have had problems with that I know that you could develop um, some kind of allergic reaction and that's probably what happened with me after I had the first infection in the same exact finger. I probably developed some kind of um, irritation to that particular acetone so I'm never going to use it again. I'll probably just toss it out and just use my other one or I'll just use it on my toenails but I'm not even going to take the chance. I'll just probably toss it out. So. Yeah, well, there you have it, you guys, and um, thank you so much for watching, and here is the update of what has been going on with my boo-boo finger. Now you guys all know. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Take care.